Afternoon, everybody. We are Team Power PPE, not to be confused with Power PP. Um, we took the challenge uh, for object recognition for um, PP equipment, much as other challenges have been today, and also as we've done in previous challenges as well, but with the additional challenge of trying to wrap this up within um, Power Apps. So there's a function to uh, utilize this mobile as well as, uh, as well as main system. <coughs> So in order to put your some contacts on the on the problem, uh, working in construction is, is is one of the most dangerous uh, construction uh, industries in, in the in UK. So we have uh, more than thirty fatal injuries uh, derived from uh, from incidents, and then more than 50, uh, 45 percent is uh, derived from uh, due to the, the fall heights. There is a, in the spectrum there is a minimum uh, percentage that is derived for incorrect PPE, and then this is what we we are trying to, to analyze here. If the worker is not worry, um, wearing a correct the, the PP. So yeah, we have two parts in this challenge. Uh, the part one is uh, just building an, an A model in order to train and detect uh, the, the failure of, um, of uh, wearing the PPE. And the second part is, is, uh, is building up this application. So in terms of the considerations for the part one, uh, we use uh, Power Apps A Builder to build the data model. So they, they incorporated as a separate model into the Power Apps. We build the, the Power App, and then we use the Power Apps A Builder as a model, as a separate model. And the day model currently only accepts uh, still images, no video. So the, the demo we are going to show up there is going to, to, to be focused just only on, on images from the videos. We, we have the game. Uh, so this is, uh, well, do you want to? So this is basically the full platform that we were working towards. And then we came up with a smaller set for a demo application. <coughs> so basically in the demo, uh, you're presented with two, two screens. Basically a log screen that allows you to log individual incidents in a text form. Um, we also have a detect screen where you can take a picture of an individual wearing PPE. And that's going to trigger the AI model to detect whether it's a, um, a force event with the five pieces of PPP equipment. And basically, the original um, problem was a at a turnstile is to determine whether the person had all their PPE on. So uh, we thought it'd be a great idea to add a green and red light. So as they walk through and it detected what they were wearing, it would show a green or a red light. Um, if, um, if they didn't have all their kit on, then it would trigger an email that would uh, respond to um, the uh, project management, whoever, whoever was on site for responsible for the PPE. And also it would log back into a, um, into a database for um, where people could see in the log screen what the picture was like, what they were wearing. Those pictures would also go back into the um, main database for training of the AI model. So uh, what the app that we came up with, uh, again, the two screens, the um, log screen is just basically a text screen as it stands now. The detect screen will actually take a picture and determine if they're wearing the five pieces of items. And here we have the original picture, then the um, the detected picture with the five items saying whether they are actually wearing them or not. And then this is the same as the other, just showing in clearer. Uh, so this is the app that we've developed. So it's uh, optimized to work on a mobile phone, Android, iOS, etc. There's a basic uh, description of what uh, we want to go through. You can look at the observations, see the observations that are uh, tracked already uh, with some details on there. Uh, we can go through to details um, and add further ones, and we can also edit there. To go through to the active upload, we would then choose an image such as, um, uh, such as one of these. It then looks at the image, and it gives us a status response. Now, we looked at this in both directions, both to give us a positive um, that there is a hard hat there, but also to give a negative flag. So if there's a person there without a hard hat, then that's a flag, and that sends email out. 